Well, we're still on three. I think I did it already. No, we're, we're on four now. We're on four. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. Well, this, uh, I think the uh, reference is specifically to the uh, Rise Alliance proposal, and uh, it's not before Council yet. My understanding is that since it began uh, discussions and going into the planning process a couple of years ago, the density has come down, the height has come down, the number of rental units have come down, and uh, the discussion is not over with. So I'm not sure at which point 91% were opposed to it. If 91% are opposed to it in the public hearing, I guess we'll learn that at that point. But I would say the community plan did identify that site for additional density and height, and uh, the plan was supported widely in the community. So we'll have to uh, wait, wait and see what it gets before Council how to balance off what the community plan said with what is now proposed as a result of this process. So uh, how do I deal with the Oxford complaint? Uh, we have, as I said, endorsed three community plans coming up, Grandview, Woodlands, Marple, and the West End. There were a lot of important lessons of the West End Mayor's Advisory Committee, which we're going to try to apply to consultation citywide, and I think that we'll see some dramatic improvements. But at the same time, I think there's always going to be conflict about change in the community. And uh, communities are facing more of it now because the downtown core is largely built out and we're seeing transit investment in other parts of the city and communities are wrestling with how they want that to, uh, to unfold. And uh, the city has a responsibility, I think in my mind, to be sustainable across the board. And so communities have a, a, a responsibility also to take their share of that sustainability, whether it's in social housing or transit or in more affordable housing. 